In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the sequence diagram for the topic hospital management system. So before watching this video, please do watch the video which I have attached in the description. Because in that video, you will be having steps on how to draw the sequence diagram, which is the very most basic thing. There are four major steps. If you understand those four steps, it will be very easy for you to draw the sequence diagram for any topic that is given to you. So please watch that video first and then you can watch this video for better understanding. But of course, even in this video, I'll be teaching you every single step clearly. So what is the first step? First step is we need to draw the multiple objects. First, we need to find the multiple objects for the topic hospital management system. So when you hear the term hospital, what comes to your mind? Who are all very important? Patient, doctor, nurse, receptionist. They are all very important because without patients, the doctor will have no job. And receptionist is very important because the patient cannot directly ask everything to the doctor because doctor will be too busy. So the patient can ask many things to receptionist only. Next, nurse is very important in order to help the doctor. So first it is patient. So I'm drawing the rectangular box and writing patient inside it. And it is very mandatory for me to underline it. Next, receptionist is an object. So I'm writing receptionist, drawing a rectangular box and underlining it. Next, what is the next object? Doctor. So I need to write doctor and then I need to draw the rectangular box and underline it. Lastly, nurse, draw the rectangular box, underline it. So these are the four multiple objects for this sequence diagram. So underlining it is very much mandatory. So don't forget to underline the object. And in sequence diagram, it is a must that the object should be written inside the rectangular box and underlined. So make sure you do that. Okay. And always remember, patient cannot ask everything directly to doctor because doctor is very busy. So receptionist is the person who will be helping to clarify the doubts asked by the patient. Okay, so these are the four multiple objects. I hope you are not having any doubt in this first step. Next, the second step is also there. So what is the second step? Second step is the activation time. Because everything cannot happen at the very same time. You're going to the hospital at one time. You're consulting the doctor at some other time. You're getting the medicines at some other time. Right. The time is differing. At the same 11 o'clock, you're not coming to hospital. You're consulting, getting the medicine. Everything is not happening at that 11 o'clock itself. Right. There is a gap between every incident that is happening inside the hospital. So that is the activation time that is the second most important step okay so after drawing the multiple objects you need to draw the second step which is the activation time and it should be in the order okay what is the order first the patient will be taking the appointment from the receptionist so that is your first step next receptionist will ask the doctor whether he is available on that day at that time or not and then the doctor will say whether he or she is available or not. And then only the receptionist can confirm to the patient saying, yes, your appointment has been confirmed. Only if the doctor says he or she is available, only the receptionist can inform the patient that, yes, your appointment has been confirmed. Otherwise, the receptionist cannot say that statement. So this flow should be there. Okay. So this flow is very, very important. So now let's draw dotted lines. Now I need to draw a box kind of thing that is known as the activation time. For indicating the activation time, I'm drawing that. Next, at that same level, there is one same level, no? At that same level only, you should draw the rectangular box, that vertical rectangular box to receptionist also. The level should be the same. This level and this receptionist level should be the same. It should not be different. 
because the patient is asking to the receptionist and receptionist is also listening to what the patient is saying at the same time only so at 11 o'clock if patient is asking about the appointment to receptionist even receptionist is listening to it at 11 o'clock only so same level rectangular boxes height should be okay the starting that line small line should be at same the starting of rectangular vertical box should be the same so takes appointment i'm drawing solid line with an arrow because the patient is requesting to the receptionist whenever someone is requesting you need to draw a solid line and put an arrow so takes appointment from the receptionist okay so both should happen at the same time only so make sure you draw at the same place the length should be the same the starting thing next the receptionist will be taking the appointment from doctor so you need to draw dotted lines from doctor and a little down now if the receptionist uh, rectangular box is starting here means the doctor should be a little lower it should start a little lower because the receptionist definitely after some time only will go to the doctor and ask about the appointment which was informed by the patient so draw it a little lower and draw the line solid line because the receptionist is requesting to the doctor about this put the arrow mark without fail so takes appointment from the doctor so receptionist is taking the appointment from the doctor at some other time only a time after that now that was 11 means this can at least be 11 10 or it can also be 11 30 so a little lower so takes appointment from the doctor so receptionist taking appointment from the doctor now the doctor has to say whether he or she is available or not so for the question for the request which was put to the doctor from the receptionist the doctor is responding to the receptionist so draw the dotted line with an arrow mark so this is the response the doctor is giving to the receptionist saying that yes i am available so doctor is available now after receptionist getting to know that the doctor is available the receptionist should respond to the patient for the question asked by the patient at the first step because the patient has asked for taking the appointment now only the receptionist is answering to the patient saying your appointment has been confirmed so a little down you need to draw that arrow mark because after the doctor saying he or she is available it will take some time at least 5 minutes for the receptionist to inform it to the patient so a little lower you need to draw dotted arrow dotted line arrow and write confirms the appointment so this is the flow first the patient will take the appointment to the receptionist the receptionist will ask whether the doctor is available or not then the doctor will respond if he or she is available after doctor responding the receptionist will inform to the patient telling your appointment has been confirmed on that day on that date the doctor is available so your appointment has been confirmed so after appointment has been confirmed what is the next thing you need to consult the doctor the patient needs to consult the doctor that is the next step so consulting the doctor is very important on the date of appointment only you cannot go on some other date and consult the doctor because when an appointment has been fixed you need to follow that properly that day that date that time everything should be followed properly next you need to draw dotted lines to patient and draw the actuation uh, time box and then from the doctor also you need to draw make sure the start of the rectangular box is matching with patient and doctor because the patient is consulting the doctor at a different time after getting confirmation about the appointment from the receptionist so make sure both the bars starting is at the same height okay it should be at the same height now draw the solid line and you need to put an arrow what you need to write inside this arrow on top of this arrow you need to write consults the doctor so the patient is consulting the doctor
so here you have to draw the dotted lines because here receptionist has no role to do and the nurse has no role till now so you need to put the dotted lines till here okay so now consulting the doctor next what will the doctor do the doctor will not do everything the nurse should also help the doctor so i need to draw a rectangle box for nurse a little lower and draw the arrow mark telling assisting doctor that is helping the doctor sharing the work doctor and nurse they are sharing their work because doctor himself or herself cannot do everything i'm drawing that arrow little lower because consulting the doctor if it is at 12 o'clock at 12 5 only the nurse will be assisting the doctor okay so there is a difference in time so waiting time five minutes is there so i need to draw it a little lower next the doctor's role is to treat the patient so draw the arrow from doctor to the patient a little lower than assisting the doctor because after the nurse assisting the doctor a little after that step only treating the patient step is happening so if that is 11 5 for example assisting the doctor is at 11 5 then at 11 10 only treating the patient step will happen so a little lower you need to draw the arrow from the doctor to patient next draw the rectangular box again to the receptionist as well as to the patient at same height okay here the receptionist is asking for the payment after the treating i mean after the doctor treating the patient you need to pay the fee so ask for payment receptionist is asking for the payment and then the patient is responding by paying the fees so dotted line with arrow paying the fee asking for payment if it is at 12 20 at 12 25 the patient is responding by paying the fee and then to the other two bars you need to put dotted lines and end to the doctor and nurse put dotted lines and end the diagram so this is the overall sequence diagram for the topic hospital management system so if you are able to draw a sequence diagram like this it is more than enough so patient first takes the appointment to the receptionist the receptionist cannot directly answer the receptionist has to confirm with the doctor whether he or she is available or not only after the doctor confirms the receptionist can inform the patient whether their appointment has been fixed or not okay so only after doing this and after the appointment has been fixed only the patient can consult the doctor so the patient will consult the doctor and doctor cannot do all of the work by himself or herself so the nurse will be assisting the doctor in order to do the work will be helping the doctor in order to do the work and then the doctor will treat the patient so the some prescription will be given to the patient too okay and then the receptionist will ask for the payment after treating the patient after doctor treating the patient next what will happen the patient will pay the fee so this is the final sequence diagram i hope you have understood this if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section if you want me to do the sequence diagram for some particular topic yes of course you can ask i will do i'll make a video even on those topics so this is the flow so make sure you follow this flow and also remember the arrow marks are at different positions why the arrow marks are at different positions because every step is happening at a different time taking the appointment is at different time then reception is asking the doctor is at different time so confirming the appointment is at different time so everything is at different time since everything is at different time that is the reason why the arrow marks at are placed at different positions and all the arrows are not on the very same place the height of every arrow mark is differing if one is on top the next arrow mark is little lower the next is little lower the next is little more lower the next is little lower so arrow marks are lower 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 because the time is differing for every single step the first step is at 11 means the next step is at 11 5 the next step is at 11 10 the next step is at 11 15 so like this every step has a waiting time you need to wait for five minutes sometimes it will be 10 minutes sometimes the waiting time can also be half an hour so every step that is happening 
is at different timings only that is why we know that once the time has been wasted we cannot get that back like like why if once has been completed like if one step has been completed at one time you cannot do the next step at that same time because that time has gone so the next step has to do i mean has to be done at some other time only for sure so this arrow mark plays a very vital role in drawing this diagram so i i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section if you like this video please like subscribe and share it with your friends thank you so much